so the way these things work is that there's 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 an actual schedule, and it, it'll say like, okay, for example, nine o'clock at nine a.m. in this room, this person is giving a session on giving a talk on this particular topic. Okay. But at nine at nine a.m., there might be five or six different sessions going on at the same time, and they usually last about an hour to an hour and a half. You know, so it'll be like nine o'clock, ten thirty, noon, one thirty, that kind are, of thing. Are these topics? Are they like the extreme brainy stuff, like you know, physics and no, stuff like that? Not even remotely. Uh, well, some of some of them are, but like at the the one I went to, I I went to um, sessions on curling, on steampunk, on progressive rock. Now, how do how do you do something on steampunk? I mean. What is the presentation going to be about steampunk? Teaching you the storyline behind it or something? No, no, it's, it was more of basically just a general introduction to it. You know, because honestly, the vast majority of Mensons are not that much in contact with popular culture. Oh, and wow. Because, and, it, and this is something we noticed, is that because Mensa was founded by old white guys, uh-huh. the vast majority of Mensa is old white people. You see, I told and then you. there's the then you know what you would normally consider your younger baby boomers. You know, there there are almost none of those in Mensa. So what you're and doing is you're actually doing you can do presentations on things that they may not be familiar with. Oh yeah, just yeah. to say, hey, you old codgers, I know you live under a fucking rock, but here's what's going on in the world. Yeah, his name is Obama, and he is a black president. You know, and and one of the things I had thought about doing for the session was the morality that you find in comic books, you know, or the ideas behind them, you know, so like, for example, you know how in, in the X-Men, the mutants are always like, oh, we're persecuted because we're different, and all well, you could say, oh, that's like hom- homosexuals, you know, they're persecuted because they're different, that kind of thing. Mutants you know, aren't gay! Colossus is. Colossus is, yeah. In the <laughs> Ultimates. But in the regular, you know, Age of Apocalypse, he wasn't, he was doing Kitty Pryde. Right. Yeah. You, you know, can't prove that metal that. boner right in her face. You can't through. prove that. Show me the panel that sh- depicts maybe, maybe Colossus a, banging. Maybe Kitty was a transvestite. Maybe. Well, now we're really and instead of Kitty Pride, it's Smitty Pride. You're really tearing apart Drax's <laughs> favorite. I'm, I don't care. I'm not crying at all that you're saying. I don't care if he's gay. <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> this is Drax you're making fun of. Yeah, I'm not. Bastard. This isn't a tear. I just have allergies and my eyes are watering up. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, but I mean, essentially, you can, assuming it gets accepted by the committee, you can do a session on pretty much whatever you want. And so, you want to do something about comics? Yeah, I'm. Th- I'm thinking about it. Anyway. About the morality of comics? Maybe. Yeah. Why don't you do a- something more appropriate, like, and, and call the comics out on it of how they change according to fads? That's true. Case yeah. in point. Something that Mr. T. Ray and myself like to go off about. Mm -hmm. The fact that Twilight's so popular that now the X-Men are taking out Dracula. Yeah. It's not just the X-Men. Everybody's taking out Dracula. And the son of Dracula is helping them. Because that's not too much Castlevania. Right. Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, if you can put together something on that, you can do it. You know? Yeah, but don't you have to have, like, a certain intellect to it to get, you know... Like, you got to be a brain or something? I went to a session on curling. The sport of curling. But, I mean, I thought the Mensa <laughs> thing was, a, it was a, a collection of brainiacs, the way April puts it. Okay. Well, you do have to have a certain IQ to get in. See? I'm but that's, that, I'm that's the only requirement. T-Ray's in. He's artsy. I got Me, this I've got nothing. I just go off about people. Yeah. Tony draws. He's artistic. I got good brains. Not autistic, mind you. <laughs> Which sometimes I wonder. Artistic. Well, you know, I never, I didn't think, when I took the test to get in, I wasn't even taking There's it to get test? into Mensa. Oh. Yeah. I'm fucked. There is no way. Is it I a, suck at taking tests. Is I it a P test? Study. Is it a P test? No, it's not a P test. I passed that one. Well, what if you're a drug, druggie? I mean, sure, you're a genius, but maybe your genius is because you use drugs. That's fine. <laughs> he uses the super soldier serum. Just to get into Mensa. Yes. I'm so smart. If you don't believe me, check out my Babylon 5 t-shirt. Is curling like bending? 
I'm a 45 year old virgin. Do you think I'm not smart? <laughs> is what? Is curling like bending? No. No. No, no curling no. is boring. Bending's interesting. Well, I'm still. Curling's like. I'm not giving up on it. Curling's like you're on one side of the ice and you have this stone with a handle on it and you roll it down the ice and it goes by itself. It's amazing. It's like powers. So I'll put Sideshow Al <laughs> in some kind of. Put a device. handle on the back of, of Sideshow Al. And I'll throw him down you, the ice. you just throw him down the ice. Sweet. And then hopefully he, he ends up closer to the bullseye than the other guy's stones. We'll win. I'm going to win that sport. There you go. Mm-hmm. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Why, that's, a, <clears throat> why, that's one of the greatest plans I've ever heard. I eat toothpaste. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Just like... Because you're, no, I'm hungry. What do I want? Grilled cheese sandwiches. I don't want a sandwich spread like man is a miracle whip. I need fluoride. Maybe I want fish, fish for din din. But no, I think I'll have. I need to fight cavity creeps and go on a diet. The new sugar free crest for kids. What can I have for lunch? <laughs> Fish, fish, yay! <laughs> oh, want to have some fish, fish. Come on, Jack. You know you want to try the batfish voice. <laughs> no, no, not really. I don't. <laughs> I'm glad we can talk. At least we can talk that. about men's comic books, anime, and movies with them. <laughs> but hey, Drake, try a voice. No, no, fuck you guys. <laughs> Hey, I'm, I'm horrible at voices. This isn't brainstorming. Horrible. You told me you did a really good Australian accent, and I've yet to hear it. Yeah, well, hasn't come up yet. All right, here, here, we'll set it up. We'll set the scene up. All right. Okay. A kangaroo has been violating farm animals, and we need to get the eye, the witness, the eyewitness. We need to get some words from him. <laughs> okay, you ready? Here we go. You saw this kangaroo fucking everything. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Can you tell us anything about the kangaroo hold on, in question? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. That's just too funny. This this rape brew, <laughs> kangaroo rape. <laughs> that'll be that'll be the headline on the news. You lead, okay? Hinsky is going to lead us in. He'll be the the okay the the we news reporter. We, we've only got 20 minutes, and I'll be the guy on the scene. You be okay. you be the news reporter in the in the in the in the office. Okay, and it's kangaroo rape. All right, ready. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Live from the news on Ego Trip, we're going to take you to the scene of a crime where there have been reports. We have T-Ray on the scene. T-Ray, well, what exactly is going on uh, down there in, in Australia? T-Ray, T-Ray, are you there? Hi, Hinsky. Yes, apparently it's kangaroo rape down here in Australia, in the outback. That it's, sounds it's... crazy. What? That, that sounds crazy. Kangaroo rape? That's just looping. Wait, wait, there's a delay. Who does it? Oh. What? Okay. I don't, I, it's apparently a kangaroo. We're gonna we're gonna uh-huh. hand this off to you there, T. Ray. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and start reporting on things. Okay. We have Chet McBuckman here. Chet, what can you tell us about the kangaroo rape 2010? Oi, right. Well, I'm just walking along with me wallaby, and I see this kangaroo. He runs up this koala bear, boom, kicks him right in the head, bends him over, and just starts going at it. It Chet, that's crazy. crazy. Chet, why do you have a wallaby? Well, it's my pet wallaby, George. Chet, it's illegal to have a wallaby. That's none of your business. Chet, what I'm calling I do the with my wallaby on my own time, none of your business. Do they have bobbies or police here in Australia? They have police bobbies for the freaking English. Well, I mean, I, tomato, tomato. Chet, so what do you say about this kangaroo rape situation going on? Are you lucky well, to be you know, to not be raped? Well, you know, it was it was a close thing. If I hadn't had my wallaby, that kangaroo might have come after me next. Did he fuck your wallaby, Chet? Well, only in his mouth, not in, not in the ass. So I got kind of lucky. Friend hid behind some bushes. Wallaby mouth rape, Chet. That's awful. Have you had to take your wallaby in for therapy yet? Oh, no, not yet. He seems to like that kind of thing. Chet, here's what's going to happen. We really don't have the, uh, we didn't bring any footage with us, so we're going to do a dramatic reenactment real quick, all right? Okay. Okay, well, you just walk down the street, I'm going to mouth fuck your wallaby, all right? 
I'll get behind the bush. All right, that's all right. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping to hear the roar and go. Oh, oh, get off my wallaby! What are you doing? Oh, that have been good. I'm fucking your wallaby! No, no, the, the kangaroo didn't say that. I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the details of what's going on right now. Your wallet needs me. Oh, Hensky, so if you could only pleasant. see the, the terribleness. <laughs> if you could only see the look in the wallaby's eyes, like I can right now. It's definitely confused. <laughs> For some reason, I'm taking obscene pleasure in this wallaby's confusion. Oh, I'm coming. Oh, back to you, Hensky. <laughs> Oh, Jesus the Christ. that I find sexual gratification in uh. raping an animal. <laughs> oh, I feel weird. See, so Drake, you can do voice. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. Chet Brick, Buck, Brick McBruckman, what was his name? <laughs> Chet something. I don't know. We'll listen to it on the replay. There you <laughs> we'll go. Listen to it on the replay. This is live. <laughs> 